you are going to create a vector mesh what i'm saying vector shape uh, of the of the of your character uh, with the reference you can put the reference file here and you're going to create the uh, vector shape of your character and uh, you're going to create uh, separate layers or columns for each and every part of your character wh what you want to move separately right now you maybe you should uh, separate the neck from the head and what I have done is I have created one for head, one for the upper arm and lower arm, all these things. Okay. So the legs, sorry, the legs, okay. the body, for, one for the body. So you are gonna do uh, things like this. You know, you're gonna create. Hmm. shade you can also animate there is uh, two or three ways to do that one you can create a frame by frame animation where you're gonna have different drawings of your uh, of your particular that shape in that particular column and then you can change that according to the time like in fifth frame you need a different kind of shape like maybe uh, here a different kind of thing is happening so then you, you're gonna add that uh, that particular drawing on that frame let's say ki here we have a different kind of shoe maybe on that shoe let's duplicate it on that shoe we have mm, go to the edge this tool when you are gonna work I'm gonna show you so it's not gonna be a problem so maybe you're gonna change maybe some simple change like this so maybe we need this drawing here so we're gonna we can there's so many ways to do that we're gonna put these things here so the the rigging is not going to be going to happen with those drawings rigging is going to happen with the column so whatever in the column in in the in that particular column you have it's gonna uh, move with the uh, whatever drawing you have in that particular column is gonna move with that column okay so that's not a problem okay chalo mm. so let's start uh, what you're gonna do after you create all these separate parts of your character um, the first thing that you need to do is you need to create uh, you need to determine this what the center point should be so let's go to the center uh, use the shortcut so maybe it's gonna be here for the for this arm this lower arm it's gonna be here this one is gonna be here and this one is gonna be here Let's move it. Okay, this is the one. So let's go to schematic and why oh, isn't showing anything? Okay. So you have all the different columns in our schematic view. So let's start parenting. So we are gonna parent the legs with the uh, I'm gonna use the mouse because for using mouse you can zoom in the schematic view. Um, so the arms, unfortunately, my all the all the as you can see all the uh, different different columns they have their particular uh, different drawings or the different levels have their particular name 
in a particular uh, specific naming convention okay like g then re underscore re underscore r for write then ha hand down one and like that unfortunately for the columns i haven't done that you should do it because when you are gonna uh, when you are gonna re a complex complex character you need the different names here also and also in the animation in the in the uh, what is it called um, the function editor you also need this the column names so let me just show you without the names then what you're gonna do is i know that the arms are gonna be connected with the body of course and where is the second arm this is the second arm okay and the lower arms are gonna be connected with the upper arm and the hand is also here. And let's bring this thing to two things here. And the legs are gonna be connected with the with the body as well. You know, sometimes the problem happens is I'm not gonna connect the legs with the body because if we connect the actually not this one, this one thigh, yes, this leg will be connected with the thigh. Now, the problem is if we connect the leg with the body, then if we select the body and rotate the body, yeah, legs will rotate as well. So, we don't want that. So, what we are gonna create, we are gonna create a null layer, huh? No, we're gonna create a null layer. In this case, we can create a peg, but I'm not gonna use a peg. I don't like the peg because the peg bar doesn't show in the egg sheet, unfortunately. So we're gonna create an empty layer here. So let's call it, call it null and uh, null one. We're gonna create it here, and we're gonna connect the this legs with the null and. and then everything will be connected to that so now if we rotate the body only the upper portion of the body moves with it now if we need to move the whole thing we are going to select this null column okay maybe we need to change the position okay so let's connect the other things as well so the head will be here and i have turned it off so which one is this one okay and this one will be connected to this one this one will be connected to this one so this is the basically the hierarchy system on our this particular rigged character okay this is the these are for the legs what are all these little bits really uh, little little options are there i have shown you in the in our in my earlier video so now if we select the select the maybe let's say the body and now we can rotate the body like this now these things are not you know joints are not uh, right because you have to do this kind of uh, shape here which will be behind the pelvis and it will gonna fix that there are a few ways to fix that one is this and another way is use the plastic tool then you can stretch the uh, uh, you know thigh joint up to here uh, and you can create as much as you know little bit little 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 joints uh, with the plastic tool to get uh, very subtle uh, deformation and uh, another thing what you can do let's say you are okay let me sh show you at first that how the all the things are working and by this to do this kind of animation rigged animation we are going to use the skeleton tool 
or the bone tool whatever it's clit and tool and by using the clit and tool we don't need to select things from here or, or from the X sheet we can just simply move things from here we can just select it and we can move it so the joints are not perfect and we can all there is another way also to fix that I'm gonna come to that later so okay and anytime we need to go back to our default position what we can do we can go to the you can go here you can press 0 or we can do that from the from the, our animation menu here we can just expand all those rotation values here and we can we can change it from here and it will be much more easier to do it from here anyway so now you can say that we cannot get each and every type of uh, different drawings different shapes of our body by doing uh, rigged animation we are limited in a single uh, drawing so it's not like that because we are working on single drawings that's why we are getting those let's say some there will be places where the joints are not matching and you don't want to use the plastic deformation tool to match those joints you want a different jo a drawing of your maybe this uh, this thigh uh, to match this particular shape so you can just add a separate drawing here right you move the character you need a separate drawing so you can move you can just create a separate drawing here and you make the changes on that on the drawing so let, let's delete this one and sorry. and here we can create we can ch make the changes you can draw by using the brush tool and whatever you want you can make any kind of changes here and you can add that thing here okay so this is basically uh, character rigging I'm not going to go into too much details because at first you need to do some practice on it then different different issues are gonna come and from the side view also let me show you another example work rig work rig and work rig 2 there is two of them so let's see. and here i was doing this thing and let's go to the huh opacity by using the uh, this uh, effect you can turn down this mad value okay and that will change the opacity so this is basically uh, let me show you the uh, schematic here and very basic joints for the uh, for this kind of side characters what we basically do is we do uh, things like uh, you know uh, in name things like uh, arm down one and two basically what I do uh, and I have seen other animators also do that the front the leg which will be in the front that will be uh, one and which is in the back we call it two to know you know in this case we cannot determine things like le which is left and which is right but do, or you can do front and back hmm, in your naming convention and uh, here what I've done is I needed this kind of bending in our in my shoe I could have add some more drawings later but, uh, later on I realized that it would be better if I did do a drawing here but uh, I had created a mesh deformation here so if you go to the plastic tool we can see we can you can see that uh, We have this kind of mesh deformation here okay and uh, you can see the very basic thing like uh, the foot is connected to the uh, lower leg and which is the connected to the thigh and which is connected to this null object and there is what I have done is I have made very few you know keyframes these keyframes are because of the follow throughs and if you see that the keyframes main keyframes are like one two three and by using only three keyframes, I've got this kind of animation. I mean, 
it's not perfect but I have used only three keyframes there and I mean three main key poses one is here the first contact pose and wh what I have done is I have copied the first contact pose now I have just right clicked on that keyframe and select all uh, keys in this row so I have select on copied the, all the keyframe and I have pasted it here and here what I have done is uh, this is a simple thing and here um, I have flipped it at first I have flipped pasted it here in the 17th frame and I have flipped the position by turning on the onion skin and after that I have there is a passing pose here uh, I have created this not three keyframes one two three four five keyframes so I have made this passing for frame uh, pose here and I have created the similar thing I have done uh, selected all the keyframes on this row and paste it here and here I have just flipped the position of the of the legs okay and after doing all these things what I have done is I have added a uh, if we go to the function editor let's select uh, let's maybe select the body okay this is the body which is the column 9 again you have to you should name the columns properly and if you turn on the rotation and you can see if you go to the um, function editor that you can see what I have done is I have added uh, ease in and ease out for them so there is some kind of lagging should happen when uh, with, the, with the, the rhythm of the body and uh, after doing that what I have done is in this few keyframes like here maybe with the with the hand here what I've done is I have rotated go to the go to this thing okay select this so it was like this so I have if we delete this keyframe you will see that it will be like this so I have just add this kind of uh, little bit of uh, rotation in it to uh, get the inertia of uh, different body parts okay the follow throughs okay so maybe i have done that also with the head yes so here when the head is coming it should be like this because if there is no keyframe but i have added a little bit tilt like this okay so that's why the head is you know, moving like that so here you can also see that i have used this kind of and you can see that for the actual fit uh, uh, column there is no keyframes in it because the, because it is parented to the mesh column and mesh column has the uh, have all the keyframes and here also I have used this because I knew that this kind of stretching is gonna happen here in the fits so I have used uh, the uh, plastic tool to do that you could have also done different drawings like we have seen that earlier example that I have shown with the hand movement there was different type of different drawings there with uh, for different body parts so this is basically it um, the reason why uh, in tv animation people use rigged character widely is uh, it saves a lot of time and there you are gonna use the same character over and over over again so that's why you create this kind of rigged skeleton system one time and you reuse that over and over uh, for different different shots and also as these are all vector characters you can close you can make a close of all this thing uh, you know uh, can stretch the character as much as you need let's go to the uh, this main uh, call, um, null layer and let's go to the stretch tool uh, I mean scale tool then we can scale this thing as much I mean as much as we need then in the render view just go to the position in the render view what is going to happen if we render it out it will be always the whatever the final output is okay So this is basically character rigging. I think if you even have any questions, it will solve during your practice. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, okay. Let's stop it.